Hello guys, this is Massimo Boscherini and today we're going to continue our lessons on how to make your very first podcast. What do you need to do your podcast? Now, first of all, the same materials I've shown you in the first lesson. You need any type of computer. It can be a laptop, can be a desktop, can be a Chromebook, whatever, that has a webcam. You need to have prepared some slides that you want to show to your students. And, of course, you need a quiet place for recording. Now, in the previous lesson, we I introduced a software known as Screencast O Matic. Now, Screencast O Matic is an external program that you need to install and then launch in order to uh, record your podcast. Today, we're going to see a different program. It's called Screencastify. Now, this is not an external program. This is what we call a Chrome Web Extension. So, nothing to install, but something which is tied in with a Google web, uh, Google browser Chrome. Uh, the main limitation of this, um, of this extension, which is actually very, very easy to use, is that the free version will only allow you to do a video, which is a maximum limit of five minutes. So how do you install Screencastify? Now, first of all, you need to open your um, Google Chrome browser. This is what I'm using right now. You can see you need to log in using your school, Google School account. And you can see I've done already that. You see it from my smiley face up in the top right corner. And normally, you should have uh, some icons up here. Now, these are already the the um, Google extend the Chrome extensions I've already installed. Now, how to install a new one? Okay, click here. We see the three dots. Okay, we have a drop down menu. You go to more tools, extensions. Now, here it will show you the extensions that you already have. Okay, including some apps which are related to Chrome. Now, of course, here it's uh, nowhere to be seen your um, extension. Typing in here will not help. What you need to do is to open this menu down here. And now, do you see in the lower left corner something called Open Chrome Web Store? This is where we need to go. So let's open the Chrome Web Store. Okay, and you have a lot of stuff here. And now I'm going to type in Screencastify. Okay, there you go. Here's it. Screencastify, screen video recorder. Now, the only thing you need to do is to press on Add to Chrome. I'm going to do this right now. Of course, it's going to ask me permission. Okay, and of course, I'm going to do that. So let's wait for the magic to happen. All right. And let's see, let's see. Okay. And you can see Screencastify, Screen Video Recorder has been added to Chrome. Now you recognize the icon, the screencast is a sort of arrow. You see here, inside has a camcorder, but it's the easiest thing to recognize is the arrow. Okay. At this point, we're ready to recall. So I will click on the arrow. Okay, so it says sign in with Google. Probably this is something you need to do only once. Okay, I will do that. It will ask me what account I want to use. Of course, I'm going to use my school account. All right, and of course, what do you want to do? You want to enable both a camera and microphone and drawing annotation tools. Okay, so let's move forward. All right, and I want to allow, you see you get these um, security messages. Um, you can see I've already done some, some recordings here. Okay, but I will just skip this and just let's go back to our slides. So let's imagine these are the slides you want to present to your students. Now you want to record yourself as you are presenting these slides. So again, I'm going here on the top right corner where we have the arrow and now we have microphone. You see embed webcam is not selected. I will Turn that on if I want to re also record myself. And as you can see, you have um, three options.
just a webcam means just recording yourself you're not showing the screen just the desktop that is the default uh setting okay so you're just showing your screen with your voice over or this one which i never tried so i will not try it now so let's let's do desktop so i will start recording and as you can see oh here i am okay so we have uh, by the way the recording hasn't started yet this is a preview and you can see here so what do you want to see your entire screen or a specific application window for today i will just do this very simple thing in order to start recording you need to click on it as i did and you saw that this button has become blue okay share and i will click on it right now okay now okay there's a countdown and now the recording the real recording has started okay you have some tools down here you can see it and what is important is this blue button here this is the button that will allow you to uh stop your video okay now keep in mind you have only five minutes of course you want to present something bigger you might want to think about breaking it into several smaller videos okay now if you click again on the arrow you should be able to see okay the timer okay so this video not the video i'm you're seeing right now but the video i'm recording with screencastify has been running only for 40 seconds now i would um recommend that you have a timer with you just next to you so you can see even your phone so you have an idea on how much time has elapsed so the video doesn't end just mid-sentence okay so let's imagine i'm done uh i i did my recording so i will do now stop sharing okay as you can see a new videos come a new uh windows come out and say welcome to the video page all right now uh i'm expert enough so i will just skip the tour if you want you just click on show me around okay and this is your video now uh there's several things you can do first of all this is a very nice feature of uh, um of screencastify it automatically uh, downloads the video on your onto your google drive okay on the uh what we call the root folder the main folder and as you can see here look at all these possible um um links now the easiest thing for you will be to share to classroom so if i click here share to classroom since i've logged in with my google account this program knows now what are my classes here you are okay so i can just click on these classes and then press go and this will allow me already to share this video with my class it's very very easy to use so once more screencastify does five minutes videos maximum immediately saves it on google drive so then at that point you can decide what to do it can share it immediately on google classroom with just a click of a button or you can upload it on your existing youtube channel so that's all for today hope you enjoyed see you next